Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be cooking up for you a lost, forgotten burger out of Inglewood, Colorado, the Rocky Built Cheeseburger. Let's get going. So a little burger joint called Rocky Built in Inglewood, Colorado was created by a gentleman named Roy Chasney in 1936. And when it comes to researching and trying to get as much information on this burger as I can or could, this was actually a tough one. There was one kind of a cool little documentary, but even that was lacking as far as the information I needed. Uh, but I think I've dug up a lot. It was almost like people putting oral history down to paper. And I think I'm going to do justice to this burger. We're gonna kick it off with what they called a pungent burger sauce. And there are two recipes floating around there. This one seems to be the most popular, so this is the one I'm going with. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this. Burger joint went out of business in 1980. Basically, it was crushed by the big burger chains. So that's what happened to Rocky Built. The building's still there, though. Check it out. So this is an easy sauce, and it consists of three ingredients, equal amounts of each. Yellow mustard. Heinz 57 steak sauce. I haven't had this in years, in years. Last but not least, sweet pickle relish. Give it a mix. And there we are. Try this out. Woo, pungent. It's good, I like it. Let's get going on this burger. Kick this off with a hamburger bun, just a very basic hamburger bun, no seeds. So I'm using a flat top here. These two burners are on, these two are not. And what I'm going to do first is start off with the hamburger bun over the spot where there's no burners. That will get the toast going, but it'll also make it to where I can slide it over to the higher heat and they won't stick. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just slide them over to the hotter spot where they're gonna to toast. I have here five ounces of ground 80-20 beef. Get that on the flat top and let it kind of just start warming the patty up. We want to get that fat warmed up before we smash it. So this burger was described as very thin, so it's important to get, again, this ball kind of warmed up before we do the smash. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this thing smashed now. And we're going to kind of smear it to the side. Just like that. Season with a little kosher salt. Buns are done. All right, you can see juices are pouring through. It's ready to flip. Nice. Immediately put on that American cheese. This is what I'm looking for, melted cheese. All right, that patty down. Gorgeous. Like a lot of the best burgers out there, toppings, very basic. Start off with some chopped raw onion, some dill pickle chips. And then of course, that sauce. Crown it. And there we have it. It's a pretty burger. Just simple. I mean, so many of the best burgers in American history are very similar to this. Oh. It's exactly what I was picturing. The One of the things that's very pronounced is this kind of lacy, caramelized crust on this burger. Mm. 
that sauce really hits you, but in a good way. It's not overpowering, but it is, I mean, the best way of describing it is it, it's pungent, but there's a nice balance with the dill pickles that are on here and the sweet pickles that are in the sauce. Um, there's a savoriness. It's a very, very well thought out burger. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, a lost treasure here, in my opinion. It's, it's very sad. To the best of my understanding, just based on what I've seen, the original building, a little teeny tiny little burger shack is still standing in Inglewood, Colorado. So if you're in the area, check it out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, thumb up the video if you liked it. Keep those suggestions rolling in. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.